Hey everybody, this is Adam with CS The Key Luxury Rental Properties here to show you how to use our residential elevators at our single family homes. Um, all of our, our elevators at our properties have instructions posted at every single floor, at every single elevator access. We also have it in the rental binders that are in the home and we also share it with you in your pre-arrival email that you get about a week before your arrival. Uh, so we do our best to show you those things with tips and little bullet points. We also try to meet you here on site. Uh, the day of your arrival, one of our concierge or assistant concierge uh, meet you here and give you a tutorial of the elevator, answer any questions that you have and kind of walk you through the process. The important thing to know about our residential elevators is that they are not commercial. It's not what you're used to in, in main commercial buildings and hotels and things like that. These are residential elevators. They're a little bit more sensitive and they have a very distinct process that we have to follow. Um, so the important thing that we're going to try to highlight today is that process. And remember, if you're not following that, it's going to put the elevator into a safety mode, which will not allow you to use it. So um, if there is issues when you're here, we're obviously here to help you. One of the first steps that we're going to be doing is, is sharing this video with you to kind of walk through some of those things, see if you can troubleshoot it yourself. And obviously, if not, we will come out to try to assist you as well. Uh, so first things first, if you're calling the elevator uh, to a floor, um, you need to remember that if the elevator is not on that floor, the door to access the elevator shaft is going to be locked, which you can tell. Please do not pull on it. If you know that you're on the first floor or the second floor and the elevator is not there, just press the call button. Um, so if you, uh, when you do press the call button, it's important to know a couple things. First, when you press it, the call, the letters C-A-L-L, -L, call, should illuminate and stay illuminated. If it doesn't do that, the other option that's going to happen is the call button is going to blink. If it blinks once, that means it's letting you know that an interior gate is not closed correctly on the first floor. The elevator is on the first floor and the interior gate is not closed correctly. If it blinks twice, it means it's on the second floor and the interior gate isn't closed correctly. Three times, same thing. So when you call the elevator to your floor, you need to make sure that this call button, the C-A-L-L, -L, the interior letters here, are stay illuminated. That lets you know that the gates are closed and it's coming down to you correctly. Um, remember too that when you call the elevator, you have to use the elevator. So when you press the call button and the C-A-L-L -L call uh, letters are illuminated and stay illuminated and the elevator arrives at your floor, you need to open the door, open the interior gate and use the elevator. If you don't do that, and the interior, interior gate is never opened, the elevator will once again go into a safety mode, which will trigger what I just explained, that when you press this call button, it will blink at you. In this case, it would be on the first floor, so you'd have one blink, and it would be letting you know that if you're on the second or third floor calling the elevator, that the elevator is on the first floor, and you did not go through the process correctly, so that you have to go down here to the first floor, press the call button, open it up, open the gate, shut it, and then, be able to use the elevator again. I know it's kind of silly, but that is the process. So we're going to walk you through how to use it now that I've kind of given you way too much information, but again, we're going to be here uh, when you arrive to answer some of these things. Uh, so let's go through the call process. So calling the elevator, I pushed it. First thing that happened is C-A-L-L -L is illuminated and staying illuminated, letting you know that the elevator is proceeding down to you. If it didn't do that, remember, it's going to blink and let you know what floor it's on by the number of blinks and that you need to go and open that interior gate. As it's proceeding down to us, it does take a little bit longer than a commercial elevator, so please be patient. When the elevator arrives on your floor, it's going to blink like this. See, the C-A-L-L is blinking at you, letting you know that the elevator has arrived. And in order to open the door, you need to push the button again. You pushed it, the, the ring illuminates, and you heard a click, meaning that this door is now unlocked. Okay? If some of our elevators have a little different process, where when it arrives, this ring will automatically illuminate and you'll hear the door unlock. You will not have to push that button. But most of our elevators operate this way. Uh, so when it arrives, the call button will be blinking at you. You push the button again, it will illuminate. You'll hear the door unlock, letting you know that you can enter the elevator. So we open the door. This is the interior gate that we were discussing. These have to be, now that I've called it to this floor, I have to use the elevator. So the first things first is I'm going to open this elevator, uh, interior gate. Again, be very careful and gentle as we open that. Um, second step is we're going to shut the exterior door. And we're going to make sure it shuts completely. Then we are going to shut 
the gate, and we are going to make sure that it's completely shut nice and gentle. Some of our elevators have multiple gates. In this case, there are three gates in this elevator. So we kind of just want to make sure that each of these is closed and that we're good to go. And then we're going to look at the panel that's letting us know what floor we're picking. In this case, we're going to pick two. And again, we have the instructions here inside the elevator to help you as well. So we're going to pick the second floor. You heard all the doors lock on the exterior, securing the elevator inside, and we're proceeding up to the second floor. You can see the exterior door now as we uh, proceed up to that floor. Remember, be patient, it takes a little bit of time. We've now arrived at this floor and the first step is, once again, opening the interior gate. By doing that, you heard this trigger to unlock the exterior door and we can exit out. The final steps of this, and this is really, really important, this is one of the main troubleshooting issues that we have with our guests, is after they've used the elevator, re-securing it so the next use is ready to go. So what we'll do is just simply shut this nice and carefully. You'll want to make sure that it's flush with the uh, door jam, if you can show this real quick, so that it's flush like this, letting you know that it's closed completely. And then we will shut the exterior door and make sure it's shut. Again, the light is illuminated, letting you know that it's on the second floor and ready for your next guest. Important things, please be sensitive with the residential elevators, please follow the process, and please be aware that uh, they do take a little bit more time, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, and let us know. And, and obviously, these, this video and, and many like it will be in your pre-arrival email, so if you do have issues with this, before you give us a call, please try to troubleshoot it yourself. That way we can kind of skip a few steps. So that's your how-to video on residential elevators and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.